How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. This morning I had everything out and set up ready to show you guys how I was going to mix up my new batch for my protein tub and then I got a phone call that really changed the way my day was going to go. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Originally, I was going to show you guys how I was going to mix up this new tub with soybean meal, molasses, salt, and mineral, and I was going to use my cement mixer like many of you suggested to mix it all up and give it to the cows. So after a few days, we'll see how they do with that. But today, instead of talking about protein supplements and things like that, we're going to talk about the phone call that I received. The call that I'm talking about, of course, is the call that everybody that owns livestock dreads, and that is somebody telling me that all my cows have gotten out at the winter pasture. Now, initially, I wasn't even going to film this because I was in such a rush and a hurry to get all the cattle, well, first of all, found, and then back to where they were supposed to go. But while I was out there on the side-by-side, -side, I did have my GoPro with me, so I decided I better go ahead and film it as well. So after meeting my friend out there and kind of getting the rundown on what was going on, I went ahead and turned the GoPro on and that's where this footage is going to start. The first order of business was to cross the levee into the river bottoms and figure out where exactly the cattle actually were. We had a general idea of where we kind of thought they would be, but still you haven't found them until you actually find them. It would have been really easy to drive right by them, but fortunately the guy that I was with, who was actually the owner of the winter pasture, spotted them, kind of hanging out under all these trees. The first thing that I wanted to do was get out of the side-by-side -side and sort of shoo them out from their cover and get them heading back to where they needed to be. Now normally you won't see me push cattle this hard, but we had to make a left turn up here and the way these girls were running, I didn't think they were going to make it unless I got in front of them. It was a little closer than I would have liked, but we got the job done. Now that the cattle are heading the right direction, we just had to push them back home. That tree line that you see in the horizon is the levee, and that's where we're heading. As we got closer to the tree line, things were about to get tricky again because there's only one roadway that would get us from the field that we were in now up into the levee that would eventually lead us into the winter pasture where these cows need to go. As we got close to these trees, I had a feeling that these cows would probably try to flare out a little bit and kind of lose us in the brush, but well, we got lucky in a few ways and kind of kept everybody together and on the right track. Here you can see the road that we're trying to get the cattle to go down and it just seems like no matter how hard we tried, they just wanted to go every way except the way we needed them to. They started breaking off into the brush here and I thought we might have lost them because as capable as these four wheelers and side by sides are, there's just some things that they can't go through and, and that brush was probably it. But we kept kind of pushing and staying in the right spot and as I round this corner and get back onto the road that we want, you'll see a stroke of luck as all the cattle do exactly the same thing. With the cattle running out of the cut, they all went to the levee, and we needed them to make a hard left, so Max and I both raced to get in front of them and turn them, which fortunately worked out. And then it was just an easy trot down to the gate, except that once the cattle got near the gate, instead of going through it, they decided to go down off the levee, you see them running off to the right there, and down into the neighbor's alfalfa field, which this was not what we were hoping for.
Max was going to stay with the cows and I decided that the best place for me to be was to go all the way down off the levee and try to kind of head the cows off in the direction that I knew that they were heading. There also just so happens to be a gate down in that area so we're kind of hoping if we could sort of corral them down there in that corner and open that gate that we could finally get them back into the winter pasture. I got down around and in front of the cows and Max was already there opening the gate so I went kind of swooped around wide to get behind them and sort of gently push them up to that gate and hopefully get them back where they needed to be. The one good thing I guess at this point is the cows had been running so much that they were all pretty tired and not saying they didn't have any energy to run but they were they were starting to get a lot more cooperative. And just like that, once one cow goes through the gate, they pretty much all will. There was only one problem. This little group that we've been chasing all morning only counted out to be 15 head, which meant that I still had five in the river bottoms. Well, we've got most of the cows back in the winter pasture here. Uh, there's still five that are missing, but I'm pretty sure I know where, where they are. They should be in with the neighbor's cows. And when I get done fixing the hole here, we'll go confirm that. But um, I drove up this fence line, couldn't find any holes, and finally I decided to get on the other side of the fence and walk it to see if I could see any trails. And let me show you what I found. So as we look at all the brush here, I mean, you can't even hardly see the fence, so I bet you can't see the hole. But notice here on the ground, there's a bunch of fresh tracks. And if we kind of follow this trail through the brush, it leads me to this spot in the fence. Notice all the freshly broken twigs on this bush. And this wire is pretty low. A cow could fairly easily step over that. And that trail goes right on through the brush and out to the other side. You see the side-by-side -side up on top of the levee they were coming down through here and through all this brushy mess and this is where I was able to pick up their trail because the ground is uh, real sandy here and it turned up and this makes a pretty easy trail to spot and they're going up the other side of the cut and on out into that farmers fields Anyway, we're going to get this fence fixed, and uh, after all that running, those cows are just sort of relaxing out in the racetrack right now, so I don't think I have to worry about them pushing on this again today, maybe this afternoon. But yeah, after we get the fence fixed, we'll head over to the neighbor's property and go through his herd and see if the remaining five that I'm still missing are out with his cows. Well, this is the fix that we got for the hole here. I got the two T-posts there just to... Uh, really try to drive the point home. I'm certainly not saying that they can't get through this again, but I'm just hoping that I've made it inconvenient enough that they won't try to do it again. Now that the fence is fixed, I guess we better run over to the neighbor's property and see if we can find the rest of my cows. All right, I'm a little out of breath from chasing them, but I found my last four cows here. I know I said we had five, but the fifth one we already caught and I cut a hole in the fence to try to get them back where they need to go and it looks like old red there might just about find it I really didn't want to cut the fence but I didn't really want to I figured it was a lot faster to fix the fence than it would be to lock them up go get my trailer and all that so we're just gonna try it this way and hope that it works come on red Find that hole. Thought you were gonna have it. Oh, 
Alright, so we're going to back off. I want them to really slow down right there at that hole, so I don't want to push them too hard. But, come on, you guys. There. There, she found it. Look, look what she's doing. Look what she's doing. And do the same. All right, so we got them out of the neighbor's pasture. Now we gotta get them back into ours. Now, of course, once these cows got out of the neighbor's pasture, they started heading the absolute wrong direction away from where we wanted them to go. Right now, you can't see them yet, but Max is gonna come and head them off. And at that point, it'll be a good time for us to get them turned around and headed the right direction. gonna go around on that road yeah unless maybe we should just turn them straight around okay after a quick meeting Max and I were once again on the same page and we decided to turn the cows around on the same road that they just came up and try to take them back that way Originally, I was a little bit leery about doing this because I was worried that as we got a little bit further down where I cut the hole in the fence that the cows might want to try to jump through that hole again. But it was just something that I was going to have to watch and hope that it didn't happen. Again, you're seeing me push the cows a lot harder than I normally would, but the reason for that is that I know that hole is getting close and I need to try to keep forward momentum going with the animals so that they don't see that hole and have a minute to stop and think about whether or not maybe they want to go through it. Like right there, that cow on the right, see the way she hugged that fence? She wants that hole and guess what? She found it. Pushing cattle, nine times out of ten you want to go slow and easy with them, but every so often there's a time that you want to push them. Right now is that time. I need to show this cow that there's no way she can get away from me, and once she accepts that she's going to want to get back with her friends, and that desire to get back with her friends is what's going to help her find that hole in the fence. As soon as she decides that she doesn't want to play with me anymore, her focus shifts to getting back with her friends. And as soon as that happens, she does. There's no need to push them now. All four cows are together, walking along the top of the levee. The gate that they need to go to is right in front of them. So now, it's just a leisurely walk back to the pasture. Well, finally, we got all the cows back into the winter pasture, and this was just, this was, this was a circus. I mean, th there's no other way to put it. Um, but yeah, they're all back in there now, and the only casualties of today was this fence right here. Now, I know the guy that owns the fence, and I will call him and tell him what happened here. Um, but the important thing is that as soon as I got done doing what I was doing with my cows, I got back over here to fix this. I'm going to... Um, do what I can to fix this and make it better than it was before I cut the wire and um, To me, that's just my way of sort of saying thank you. Sorry. I had to cut your fence, but hey look it's better now All right, well, I've got this fence patched up now and I would say that this wire is probably about 10 times tighter than it was before. So I guess at least, uh, at least there's that. I also added this, um, this vertical piece here and the reason for that wire 
is that it ties each one of these wires together so that if a cow uh, decides that she wants to try to stick her head through here, it makes it a lot harder to spread these wires apart. So if she tries to kind of poke her nose through and those wires don't budge, odds are she's just gonna mosey on down and find a, a looser spot in the fence. Chasing cows around all afternoon was really not how I wanted to spend my day. And to tell you the truth, when I got that phone call, my heart really just sort of sank because uh, you just never know how a job like this is gonna go. But fortunately, we're all done now. The dust has settled, so to speak. And now I'm just enjoying this quiet and peaceful afternoon. Um, you know, it's, it's good every once in a while to sort of stop and appreciate what you have and what you get to do. Um, yeah, maybe I had to spend all afternoon chasing cows around, but at the end of the day, when I look out and see this, you know, I feel pretty lucky. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.